In today's cartoon story joke, get ready to dive into the hilarious high seas of whale history. Buckle up for this. Imagine millions of years ago, when Earth was a disco ball of dinosaurs and everything smelled faintly of burnt lava. There once lived a grumpy fellow named Gary the Gigantic Sperm Whale. Now, Gary wasn't grumpy because he was a whale. Those guys are basically underwater hippies. No, Gary's problem was way worse. He had the navigational skills of a moth at a disco ball rave. Sperm whales, you see, are the champions of the deep. They can hold their breath longer than a yoga instructor on a vacation and dive deeper than a submarine piloted by a claustrophobic billionaire. Gary, however, Gary could surface right next to a mermaid convention, causing mass confusion and a surprising number of wardrobe malfunctions. Blubber beard of Poseidon! A particularly flustered mermaid would shriek, Is that a giant catfish or a particularly large, um, appendage? Gary, meanwhile, would be all, Ugh, wrong reef again. Maybe next time, Gary. Fast forward a few thousand years, and Gary's still at it. He pops up next to Christopher Columbus's rickety ship, the Nina. Columbus, bless his misplaced heart, mistakes Gary for a giant, sentient kumquat and promptly tries to barter with him for spices. Gary, ever the unhelpful navigator, responds by spraying the entire deck crew with a pungent fishy mist that could knock out a barnyard full of fainting goats. Madre mia! This island smells like a fish market after a particularly messy tuna auction, screams a deckhand, desperately trying to avoid a permanent olfactory scar. Centuries roll by, and Gary becomes a living legend, the phantom whale who messes with explorers worse than a bad case of scurvy. He even has a questionable cameo in Herman Melville's Moby Dick. Turns out Ishmael wasn't the best speller. It's Gary, not Grog, Melville. Now, we reach the climax of our tale. It's the 21st century, and Gary, ever the innovator, decides to serenade a giant cruise ship full of tourists. Imagine the scene. Pandemonium breaks loose like a Kardashian garage sale. Look, honey, a whale, shrieks a frantic tourist, phone clutched in a death grip, ready to capture the moment for maximum social media clout. Is it breaching? Can we get a closer look? yells another, completely oblivious to the danger. The captain, voice strained through the loudspeaker, sounds like he's about to need a vacation from her own vacation. Attention passengers, please remain calm. We are currently experiencing a large mammal situation with questionable vocal stylings. Suddenly, Gary decides to unleash his secret weapon. He lets out a loud, mournful song that sounds suspiciously like a particularly off-key rendition of Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On. It's the kind of singing that could curdle milk and make penguins question their entire existence. The tourists erupt in boos. The captain faints harder than a Victorian fainting couch. Gary, blissfully unaware of the chaos he's caused, dives back down to the ocean depths, humming Celine Dion to himself like a deranged karaoke champion. So, that's the slightly embellished history of Gary the Gigantic Sperm Whale. Now the question remains, with all this experience messing with people, where do you think Gary ended up after his little Celine Dion concert? Maybe stuck in a giant net full of angry fishermen who appreciate neither bad singing nor uninvited guests in their catch? All right, folks, gather round for a whale of a tale. Sorry, I had to. Today's joke involves a sassy little kid with more Bible knowledge than a Sunday school teacher and a teacher who's about to lose their cool. Buckle up because things are about to get fishy. Here we go. Little Susie, a walking encyclopedia of questionable animal facts, is bombarding her teacher with questions during whale week. Can whales eat people, Ms. Johnson? She asks, eyes wide with a mix of terror and excitement. Ms. Johnson, desperately trying to maintain her sanity after explaining blowholes for the tenth time, assures Susie. Honey, whales are way too big for that. Their throats are like the size of a grapefruit. Susie, however, isn't convinced. But Ms. Johnson... She counters, 
brandishing a well-worn picture book. A Jonah got swallowed by a whale in the Bible. Ms. Johnson now picturing a grumpy whale with indigestion size. Susie, that's a story, honey. Whales can't swallow people. Susie, undeterred, declares, Well, when I get to heaven, I'm gonna ask Jonah myself. Ms. Johnson, on the verge of snapping, retorts, And what if Jonah went to the other place? Susie, with a mischievous grin, shrugs and says, Then you can ask him when you get there. <laughs> If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.